Hi, Gigi Bure here with Very Smart Ideas, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple ice ring for your holiday punch. This is something that you can throw together in between setting the table or roasting the turkey. It only takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and it's very inexpensive to put together. What you'll need are three 12 ounce cans of sparkling soda or lemon lime soda ginger ale. You're going to need a medium to large bunt pan, depending on the size of the ice ring you wanna make. And today I'm just gonna do a very, very simple pattern. So I have three thinly sliced lemon slices. I have three small and then three larger sage leaves. And then I have three cranberries here that I've cut in half. So what I'm gonna do is take the bunt pan. I did pour one and a half cans of the seltzer water into this already and I put it in the freezer for about 40 minutes so it's semi-hard. What this does is this allows me to put the pattern on without it sinking to the bottom and moving all over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three lemon slices and I'm going to put those in equidistantly just like that and then in between I'm going to take one of the small and one of the large sage leaves and I'm going to put these into a pattern and I'm going to overlap them slightly at the bottom. I'm going to do this two more times and I'm going to put these in between the lemon slices and you can do all sorts of different patterns. You can use clementines, you can use cherries, you can use edible flowers, all sorts of beautiful things. I like to keep my ice rings really relatively simple so that they don't compete with the beautiful colors that you'll find in the punch itself. Then I'm gonna take these half sliced cranberries and I'm gonna put those in the center to cover up that center part of the lemon slice. And then I'm gonna take the last three that I have and I'm gonna put those at the intersection of the larger and the smaller sage leaf to make it look like a little holly little holly berry and don't worry if you shift around a little bit because when you move them to the freezer you'll be able to straighten them out before you shut the door so there you have it that is what it looks like now these i'm going to pop this back into the freezer for about oh another half hour until these set a little bit more and then i'm going to pour the rest of the soda on top Hi there, so I have the ice ring that has been in the freezer. It's been in the freezer for about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, and you can see the pretty pattern. And this just gives it enough staying power so that from here, I can just pour the rest of the sparkling soda on top. So I am gonna finish up this half a can, and these are 12 ounce cans of soda, and you can use ginger ale, as I mentioned, regular sparkling water, 7-Up. I'm just gonna pour this in. So there you have it. I poured in the last 12 ounce can. And from here, what I'll do is I'll put it in the freezer for a couple of hours until it's fully frozen. And then I'll pop it out of the bunt pan and put it into a baggie, a larger Ziploc, until I'm ready to use it. That way I get my bunt pan back to use for other holiday treats. So there you have it, a super easy, festive holiday ice ring. I hope you get a chance to try it. Let me know if you do. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful holiday season.